All right, so what I'm going to show you in this video is how to uh, download VirtualBox and install on it uh, Ubuntu, which is a version of Linux. But what I uh, want to do first is to talk a little bit about what is VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a virtual machine uh, monitor, also known as VMM, that provides an abstraction to the guest uh, operating system, which in this case is going to be uh, Ubuntu, right? And this abstraction is identical to a physical uh, machine, so that uh, the standard operating system can run just as it will do on the actual uh, physical uh, layer, right? So with uh, VirtualBox, we're going to be able to create a virtual machine, which is uh, an operating system or an application environment that is uh, installed on software and uh, it uh, imitates the dedicated hardware, right? So um, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, install this uh, virtual box and I'm going to be using as a host operating system uh, Windows 10. But on top of that, we're going to install this uh, middleware, which is a virtual box. And in that, we're going to uh, create a virtual machine, right? To run uh, the guest operating system, which is going to be uh, Ubuntu. Now, one of the benefits of uh, using a virtual machine, a virtual machine or creating a virtual machine using a, a VMM, is that it offers uh, hardware independence of the operating system and the application. So, for example, in this case, we're going to be using Windows, but at the same time, we're going to be uh, running Linux. So that's a benefit right there, right? We don't have to create any partitions on our uh, hard drive or something to have both uh, operating systems uh, in our computer. And another thing that I want to tell you about this uh, virtual box is that it represents a uh, host virtual machine uh, architecture. Because there are other uh, architectures such as uh, native architecture, uh, dual mode uh, virtual machine architecture, but this one, um, as I said, represents a, represents a host uh, virtual machine architecture. We see that at the bottom uh, there are the, the hardware, right? On the top of that there is the host uh, operating system, which in this case, as I said, uh, it is uh, Windows, right? And that uh, is running on uh, the privileged mode in system space. Now, above of that, there is uh, the virtual machine uh, monitor, which uh, we are talking about a uh, virtual box. In this case, it is pointed uh, with that uh, red arrow, right? That's virtual box right there. And at the top of that, uh, we're going to have our guest applications running on um, uh, Ubuntu in uh, in this case, it, which is going to be our uh, guest operating system, and th those two uh, elements are going to be running in known privileged mode in user space. Okay, now we're going to jump to the steps that we're going to follow in order to download uh, VirtualBox and install on it uh, Ubuntu. We're going to type on Google uh, VirtualBox. And we're going to go to the first uh, page, the first website, and we're going to see here the, the different versions that are available, right? But we're interested right now in this one, the VirtualBox uh, 5.0.16 for Windows Host. We're going to click on it, and we're going to see that the uh, execute file is going to start uh, downloading. I already uh, downloaded this file. You see it right here. And um, the uh, installation of this... Um, uh, software should be uh, pretty straightforward. You just click on it and the installation uh, should uh, start, right? After you install it, then you're going to have something like this. After you open your uh, virtual box, you're going to have something like this, but without any of these uh, elements right here at the left. These are, these are uh, some other uh, virtual machines that I have already created. But there is another step that we have to follow before we actually uh, use uh, VirtualBox. We are now going to go to the uh, Ubuntu website. Ubuntu. We're going to go to this uh, page right here. Then we're going to go to download. Uh, Ubuntu desktop. And from, from here uh, we see that we have two uh, versions of, of Ubuntu 14.04.4. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to be installing the latest uh, version of Ubuntu, which is uh, this one. 
the, the procedure is, is, is the same one for both of them, but uh, we're going to be installing this one here. You will also have the 32-bit um, version or 64-bit or version. We're going to be installing the 64 version uh, right now. You click on download. Then you're going to be taken to this page where you're going to uh, put everything to zero. This is the uh, some donations that you can make uh, to um, their uh, website for Linux. Then you press uh, download. And the uh, download is going to start uh, right here. This is the ISO uh, image of, of the, of the uh, operating system, right? And I already did, uh, did, did this uh, uh, download already. I have it right here. And I also download the, the, the older version of Ubuntu. But this one is the, the one that we are going to be uh, using right now. After that, you're going to go again to uh, your VirtualBox uh, screen. And then you're going to uh, click on here, New. After that, you're going to type uh, any name you want, but I'm going to call it uh, Ubuntu. Uh, the version of, of Ubuntu we are uh, installing and you're going to select here uh, Linux and this is the 64-bit uh, version that uh, we chose. So uh, after that you click next and here um, you can put, this is just uh, an optional uh, number that you're going to put here for uh, the memory size that you want, right, your, your RAM memory. But this is a, a, a suggestion that I, uh, I make to you. Uh, this also depends on the on the on the uh, memory of your computer. But for mine, you see <clears throat> this is a good number, so I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to press uh, create a virtual hard disk now. Uh, virtual box disk uh, image. That's the, the the option that we want. Next, dynamically uh, allocate. Next. And uh, this, this value here, um, if you see other videos, uh, some people choose uh, different values here. This is like the, the, the virtual memory that you're going to actually give for uh, your uh, operating system, right? This is going to be uh, every time you put, every time you need some uh, memory to put some files or to download some uh, other applications on your operating, your guest operating system, it's going to be taken from uh, your actual uh, hard drive, right? This is going to be the maximum. So I recommend you to put uh, something like 40. This depends on what you uh, want to do on, on, on your guest operating system, right? If you want to uh, download uh, some other software or you want to, uh, I don't know, add modules to the kernel, that depends on what you want to do. But uh, keep in mind that uh, if this value is too low, then eventually your um, virtual machine is going to run out of space and then you, you don't have to repeat this process. So you might want to put something here uh, not too big, or but not also not too uh, small because of that. So I'm going to put 40 uh, gigs right now. And I'm going to click Create, right? And then as you see, I have a new uh, virtual machine here. That's the name that we uh, select. Then I'm going to I'll go here to Settings. And I'm going to start uh, setting up some uh, of the things here. We're going to be, uh, you see that uh, here you can choose again the, the base memory of the system. That's the, the, the value that we already uh, chose. And um, the processors, that depends on, on, on your architecture, right? But for this case, I'm going to put uh, four processors. And uh, then I'm going to go here to display. Uh, I'm going to put uh, the full video memory for that. Uh, I'm going to enable 3D acceleration. Um, this is an important step that uh, right here. We're going to go to controller IDE for storage, and uh, we see that it's empty right now. But we're, then we're going to go to this option here, choose virtual uh, optical disk file. And then uh, we're going to go to our uh, location where you put your, your, um, your uh, ISO image, and then you're going to choose the version that you download. We're going to click open, right? We have that already uh, in here. And, uh, well, this is if, if you want to uh, do some uh, networking things, right, with your uh, guest operating system with Ubuntu, then you might want to do uh, something like this, right? And adapter 2, yeah, right? But that's just uh, if you're going to be doing networking, as I say, with, with, with uh, that version. 
But if not, you can leave that uh, as uh, as the default. You can always uh, come back and, and change that later, so so don't worry about it. Then you you click OK, right, and then uh, see all the the settings that we have right here. You can compare them, and then you're gonna click on Start. We're going to wait a little bit. Oh, and another thing that I forgot to tell you is that uh, if this is the first time that you're doing um, this process, you may want to uh, enable virtualization, right? You may want to go uh, look uh, what, what is that, but uh, you, if this is the first time, as I said, you may want to go to your uh, BIOS, you know, when, when booting your computer, pressing F2, and click on there, uh, enable the virtualization. Now we're going to install Ubuntu. Continue. Install now. We click continue again. You can configure your keyboard here, in this case is, uh, that's the default option. Then you can uh, select a password here, a password that you want. Um, any password you want here. And it's going to start to uh, install Linux on the virtual machine, right? This might take uh, some minutes. Okay, so after this uh, process is done, then and you're going to get this message. Inf installation is complete. You need to uh, restart the computer in order to use the new installation. You click on Restart Now. Then you're going to wait. And after this, then you're going to uh, close VirtualBox, right? You power up uh, the machine. And then you open again uh, VirtualBox here. You go to the uh, option that uh, we started the first time, right? Start. Okay, and after uh, the reboot is uh, done, after you start uh, your uh, virtual virtual machine again, then you're going to have uh, eventually uh, the Git operating system running. But if you see it's it's a little bit, a little bit uh, slow, and uh, you might find it a little bit um, weird. You know, like it doesn't run uh, fast, or you're going to notice it 
uh, running a weird. So you're, you're gonna what you wanna do is go here to devices and you're gonna uh, insert guest additions. You click on that. You're gonna click run. You're gonna type uh, the password that you um, put at the beginning of the process. Okay. It's gonna start uh, downloading itself. You just wait. And after uh, it installs, then you press uh, enter. Right? And then you have to uh, close again um, your virtual machine. I'm gonna shut down, right? And then you go to here and start it again. And when it starts again, then you can uh, well maximize this, but uh, and you see that it renders itself. But if you wanna uh, uh, get to full screen, then you put, then you press uh, right control plus F, and it takes uh, over the the wall screen as if you just had like your guest operating system uh, installed. Then uh, well you can have for example here the terminal if you are. Uh, programming or something, right? And um, some of the things that uh, you might want to do, this is optional, but you may want to do something like this, sudo um, app uh, get uh, update, right? And then you put your password every time you, you uh, use sudo. This is gonna, uh, this is just for uh, like updating your, your to the latest version of your uh, applications here or all the, the the software that Ubuntu comes with you can update it with that so you, you may want to do that at the beginning or, or maybe later you know this is optional so and it takes uh, some time to do it and then when you do that then you're gonna do sudo um, app get update yes up, up, update right Oops. It starts uh, downloading all those packages. But now you see that it runs uh, smoother than before. You're going to notice that, uh, well, at least in my case it did. You're gonna notice that at the beginning, uh, before installing the virtual, the the the, the guest additions, right? It's it it runs uh, not too good. And after you do that, then you may wanna do uh, sudo apt uh, get this. Uh, what's it this upgrade? Yes. And that eventually is gonna install uh, the updates, the the new ones. It's gonna tell you how much space it's gonna uh, take. You click, uh, you click yes, and it's gonna start doing it. So this process might take a while, right? So you might not wanna do it at the beginning, or maybe you want to. If, if you wanna do it just one time, you know, to have everything up to date. But if you're done, well, you just uh, have uh, already your your new operating system here in your virtual machine and you can also uh, exit full screen with again con uh, right control F right it's gonna exit the, the full screen and well that's, that's about it thanks for watching